I'm going to start off by saying get this router. Get it. You need it. I know you clicked on the video because you thought you needed it. You need it. Trust me. You need this. This is the most stable, most incredible router I've ever used. Let me give you some context, okay? I'm coming from the Wi-Fi, the Asus Zen Wi-Fi, the ET12 uh, pair combo, which I had some weird firmware issues with. So I went from this to the BE800, which is a more expensive router than the two-pack combo here. This is a more expensive, more expensive router than this two-pack combo mesh system. And this, I was also having some really strange disconnects and really strange firmware issues. And a few other people online have also stated that they've had problems with uh, connection issues on this router. I don't know if they fixed it by now. It's been about two months since I used that system, but I was having some really weird issues and it was really hard to connect to this router. Also, this router takes about five minutes to start. Um, if So if you're doing a reboot, uh, you gotta you gotta wait about six minutes or so for it to start everything, which is kind of insane. <laughs> like even the even this takes about three minutes. Well, guess what? If you want to reboot your router, this takes about forty five seconds to reboot both mesh systems, which is awesome. So and it also takes less than a minute to do a firmware update. Less than a minute. It downloads the firmware update and it immediately installs it. It's actually kind of crazy how good this router system is. I'm not being paid by fucking TP-Link to say any of this. I just, I really, really like this router. Um, I just want to tell people about it because I'm like, well, nobody's talking about it because it's brand new. It's just, it's brand speaking new. But everything just works. It's lukewarm to the touch, so it's not overheating. <laughs> There's almost no heat coming off of these things, which is awesome. There's no fan inside of them or anything like that. They're completely silent. Everything just works, man. It's also way faster than both of these routers uh, in my experience. So my bedroom is about, I'd say my bedroom is about uh, 140 feet to like 100 feet away from the router uh, here in the living room. And uh, I can tell you right now that this was getting about 600 megabits per second. This right here was getting about 600 megabits per second. On this, I get the full 1.2 gig internet that I, that I that I buy, that I actually purchase in my bedroom with a Wi-Fi 7 um, compa capable computer. Um, my computer, I, I bought uh, Intel's BE Wi-Fi adapter or whatever, and I'm getting the full speeds. I'm getting the full 1.2 gig internet that I'm purchasing through Cox Internet. So that's super awesome. I wanted to make this short, sweet video and to the point. Do not buy the BE800. You're going to get scammed. It probably will work well now. I'm, I'm sure they've probably worked out the weird kinks. They probably worked out the firmware by now. But when I had it, it took a long time to boot. And it was, it's just, it's also huge. This, this thing is way bigger than you think. I, I don't know if they have a dimensions chart in here that tells you the dimensions of the router. This thing is massive. These things are really small. You can put them almost anywhere. So that's also super cool. So this, I had some firmware problems with, some connection issues, whatever. This, no problems at all. And the wireless app for this is awesome as well. The Deco app is amazing. Now, I don't like how I had to sign into some stupid account that TP-Link wants me to sign into. That wasn't fun, but everything else about the software is awesome. It just works, dude. No firmware issues, nothing. It's amazing. On this, I had tons of firmware issues. I, 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 I had so many sleepless nights trying to figure out how to fix this stupid router. We're not going to go over that. The performance of this router is awesome. I would not wish this router on my on my worst enemies, all right? And it's expensive. It's $430. This was $480. Destroyed this. <laughs> Just completely demolishes this ET12 system. So I just wanted to share this video with people, make people aware that this router is the shit, all right? This is the stuff. No firmware issues at all. Everything just works. This is awesome. So I'm going to make a quick, sweet video. 
Uh, it's a five minute video. Hope you liked it. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Thanks for watching.